Okay, uh, so this problem is asking us whether these results are consistent with the law of conservation of mass. So the law of conservation of mass states that if the two substances completely react, then uh, the mass of one side of the reaction will be equivalent to the mass of the other side of the reaction. So hopefully you can see in the first reaction, we have hydrogen gas and oxygen gas as our reactants. And if we add up the total mass of those two reactants, we get 67.5 grams. And then we go over to the products and we see water is our only product in that reaction. And it is also 67.5 grams. So since 67.5 grams equals 67.5 grams, we can say that that uh, example has uh, been consistent with the law of conservation of mass. On the other hand, uh, when we look at the next example, this one is not consistent because it says that gasoline here, here is completely reacting with oxygen, the 60.5 grams of gasoline with the 243 grams of oxygen to give us only 206 grams of carbon dioxide and 88 grams of water. So uh, what that means is when we add those up, we get uh, 303.5 grams or 304 grams uh, with significant figures um, on the left hand side of that reaction and 200 and 94 grams on the right hand side. So if uh, those two um, reactants had reacted completely, then we wouldn't have the 10 grams of lost mass uh, left over. So if you add those two up, there's a 10 gram difference between them. Uh, so that is not consistent. B is not consistent with the law of conservation of mass. Okay. Thank you.